Perlan 2 glider to attempt to break world record flight. An Oregon nonprofit is on the verge of sending the first aircraft to sustained flight at 90,000 feet, higher than any other wingborne vehicle has flown. In 2002, the Perlan project embarked on a mission to send an aircraft far into the stratosphere to harvest data about Earth's atmosphere and ozone layer. At 90,000 feet, temperatures dip to minus 70 degrees Celsius, and air density is just 2% of air density at sea level, conditions similar to those on the surface of Mars. The nonprofit developed the Perlan 2, a purpose built pressurized high altitude glider that it hopes can sustain high stratospheric conditions. The Perlan 2 will carry scientific instruments and a crew of two in a pressurized cabin. The aircraft has a gross weight of 1,800 pounds and a wingspan of 84 feet. Its flight speed at 90,000 feet will be around 403 miles per hour. The Perlan 2 uses the thrust from atmospheric mountain wind in order to stay aloft. There are three kinds of mountain winds. A ridge lift is created by winds blowing over mountains, hills, or other ridges. Air is deflected upward, forming a band of lift. Gliders on this wind stay close to the ridge. Thermals are columns of air created from the heat rising from Earth's surface. As sun heats up air, it becomes less dense and rises. As the air rises, it is cooled in higher altitudes and sinks. A thermal is created when there is uneven heating of the Earth's surface, creating columns of hot air. A wave lift is similar to a ridge lift, but it is created on the leeward side of the peak. It requires constant winds that increase in velocity at higher altitudes. The winds are uplifted by turbulent rotors, formed by the effects of thermal columns. The Perlan 2 will use all three winds to reach 90,000 feet to sustain flight on a wave lift. Studies have found that the polar vortex and polar night jet, existing only in winter, provide the high-speed wind in the stratosphere that power incredibly high waves, those needed to fly the Perlan 2. The Perlan 2 is slated to attempt the feat sometime this year.